What is up? Hello everybody. I'd like to thank Learning Bird for sponsoring this video. But the viewing is for everybody. Um, also, remember me, Tarver Academy. Tyler Tarver, what up? Okay, so I want to show you how to use templates in Google Slides. Again, quick overview. Google Slides is essentially like Microsoft PowerPoint. But it's free and it's from Google. So you know it's just going to keep getting better. Okay, so let's take a look. We are in our Google Slides. Okay, so you just, to create one, in case you didn't check out my other video, if you're in Drive, you click New and go to Google Slides. And that gives you a brand new one. Now, once you get in, it's going to give you kind of a blank, nothing to it template. On the left, you can see your pages. And on the right, t -t 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 templates. So you can click on whichever template you want, and it'll switch over to it. I wanted a black template. We can switch to blue. We got options, okay? Now, they've got some. Look, this one's got a little hipster action to it. And you would just click on it, and then that would make that yours. Um, Swiss, that one's pretty cool. Um, ooh, this is a clean one right there. Um, got options. Wow, they got some good looking templates. Okay, so pick one, whatever um, you think applies to you. Okay, if it's me and I'm interviewing for a job or if I wanted to look classy for a class, oh, classy class, that's good. Okay, what I would do is I would pick one of these. Um, that one's a little too modern looking. I would pick something simple but clean. For instance, right there. The text is clean, it's simple, it's got a little bit more so you'll stand out, but it's not crazy enough to be like, hey, everybody, do, 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 and you look like you're trying out for a third grade circus, okay? So pick something nice and clean. If you want it to be fun, get something with a nice little font, like right there. That font's cool. You can always change the font, but it looks clean. You can toss that on there, click it, and you got yourself a template, okay? And once you go in and you make your slides, you can always uh, change the template and switch it to something else, so... That's how you pick a template, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you could, please subscribe and check out learningbird.com. Peace! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe and check out tarveracademy.com.